Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K23 video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys another episode of Badge Breakdown. Now, in today's episode, we are going to be talking about the Ankle Braces badge, which is uh, one of the top defensive badges in NBA 2K22. Now, if you follow my channel, you watched the badge breakdown that I did last year on Ankle Braces, it was the top defensive badge in the game. It was more vital than Interceptor, it was more vital than Clamps. Uh, you know, it was even more vital than uh, Intimidator, in my opinion, because last year you had, uh, you know, a lot of 5, 10, 6, 1 guards and stuff like that. Those really sub 6, 3 guards that were really, really fast. And you were battling tight handles. You were battling miss, uh, mismatch expert. And, um, you know, a lot of people wasn't using ankle breakers, but you were uh, battling Hall of Fame tight handles, and you've seen a lot of people running uh, like gold and Hall of Fame space creator, but you were mostly battling tight handles with those crossovers and those signature size ups. So uh, all it took was one stun animation, and then somebody was able to get a shot off. And because of mismatch expert, nine times out of ten, they were going to green that shot or get that shot off on you. This year, though, um, Ankle Breaker uh, is actually a decent badge. Um, I wouldn't say it's as great as it used to be, but it's a little bit better since that they're tying in uh, so many uh, dribbling badges into ankle breakers. There is no more tight handles and stuff like that or whatever. It's just ankle breaker. So a lot of those animations are going to be put into just ankle breaker. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, I've, I've, you know, used ankle breaker uh, a fair good amount and... I noticed that in uh, my career, the NBA career games, you got a lot of stun animations, especially on rookie, semi-pro, and even pro difficulty. But when I put the difficulty up to Superstar and Hall of Fame, I noticed that I wasn't really getting a lot of stun animations. I wasn't like crossing people over and making them fall and stuff like I was on the lower difficulty ratings, which makes me believe that Ankle Breaker won't be as useful in the online game modes like uh, park and you know wreck and stuff like that 2v2 1v1 and stuff so i haven't really been uh messing with ankle breaker as much because of that you know i ran it up to gold i didn't really see a point in even putting it on hall of fame because it just seemed like you know i wasn't getting a lot of animations and stuff like that when i did have it briefly on hall of fame so i immediately took it down to save some points uh but because of that i feel like Ankle braces just won't be as useful as a badge unless they patch ankle breaker, you know, to make it a little stronger. I feel like ankle braces is just no longer a number one like tier defensive badge. If you follow my channel again, you know that I had ankle braces rated as the best defensive badge for the entire duration of NBA 2K22. It was just that good. And it was just that useful in stopping yourself from getting stunned. You know, those little animations where your guy, like, wobbles back and forth and stuff like that. Just that split second was just more than enough for those, like, sub-3, 6-3 guards or whatever uh, to get their shot off. You know, this year, I'm not really seeing a lot of those stun animations. Even when I've played in a park and when I've played in a wreck and even pro-am, you know, guarding, like, you know, really good guards, uh, guards with, you know, uh, really good dribble moves and stuff. I've noticed that I haven't really been stunned at all, you know. And whether that's because, you know, uh, you know, ankle breaker just isn't that good or most people just aren't running ankle breaker, you know, uh, because there are way better playmaking badges to be ran this year. I just feel like ankle braces just really isn't needed this year for right now. You know, it's possible in the future they can patch ankle breaker and make that, uh, you know, a more viable badge, in which case then you would need ankle braces but you know as a lockdown you're gonna have a lot of defensive badge points anyway you can spare you know one or two points to throw into ankle braces me personally on my lockdown build i would run ankle braces on just bronze i wouldn't put it any higher right now but you know as the year go along we will give updates and stuff like that on the ankle braces badge and the ankle breaker badge to see if we need to you know uh come back to the ankle braces badge and see if we needs to be updated and stuff like that but for right now my recommendation if you have the badge points to spare i would throw just one point but if you don't really have the badge points to spare you actually can go without ankle braces this year it's been your boy make america lit 
Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K23 content.